to show off some of the possibilities uh, with the word selection tool, the spreadsheet, and uh, some improvements to the aggregation operator. So this isn't necessarily a pedagogically meaningful script, just to show off some stuff. Um, the first idea was if we had a text and we wanted different students to read different parts of that text, uh, what we'll do is we'll start by creating uh, some groups and here instead of specifying the number of students per group I'm going to specify the number of groups because I want to be sure that we have exactly this number and I'll have two groups here we could have three four five and I'll connect this to the operator called social to config and so what it does is it takes a grouping which is just group by default um, we can set a key in the config and this isn't very user-friendly because we have to actually know that this is called text and uh, this will be more user-friendly in the future with a drop-down and stuff like that. Um, but basically what we say is for group one, this is the, the value of that um, uh, variable. Um, and for group two, um, this is the value. So it'll just take the, the default config that we um, um, edit here and uh, it will merge so text will be overwritten now it's um, it's good to have the whole text here because uh, this is what is going to be used for example for the dashboard so um, then what we're going to do is we're going to use the aggregation and here we have some new options so when multiple groups send the same item only forward one of them uh, so if we have four people highlighting the same word, usually we would get four items with the same word, and now we're, we'll only get one. And then we have two optionals here, they're only available when you choose this option. Um, one is that we could be counting how many instances, so for example if four people send the same item, we're going to give that item a score of four. The other option is that maybe those items already have scores. In that case, we're just going to add up those scores. So if one item has score of three, the other item has score of five, for, so some groups have been voting in Brainstorm, for example, then that item is going to have a score of eight, not two, which it would have had here, or nothing if it would have been here. So first of all, I'm going to just um, get the unique items, send them to a spreadsheet. Um, then we'll get, we'll try this counting approach, and we'll send them to a Brainstorm just to see how that works. Then we will um, create some groups, and here I'm just going to say we want two groups again, but this is a different uh, grouping than here. Um, we're going to send just one item to... So here we're sending everything to all the groups, right? We're not distributing. We could do that. We could say out of these words, each group gets four words, but we're not doing that. Uh, what we are doing is we let them vote. And then because we have these votes, we're now using the score field. And then we'll see how that works. So let's see. Um, so here we have a teacher and three students. And so right away we have Anna and Alia got uh, one section. They're still individual. This is important. So the social operator is not only for group activities. In this case, we're using the social structure to choose who gets e which um, configuration. But as you can see, uh, these uh, this data is not this not is um, not synchronized. So this is an individual activity, as we can see, it's on plane one here. Um, so I'm gonna check off a few different words. Um, yeah, that's not ideal, but that's how the text is. Okay. Now, what should be happening is, for example, here I've chosen Chinatown. Uh, let's see. Let's choose it here too for fun. I've chosen Chinatown in three different students, but I only want one of them. And so what we're doing is we're taking these items, we're sending them to the uh, table, which is kind of cool. So we can have a table with these items. As you see, there's only one Chinatown, not four. And now, for example, we could uh, specify their definitions. So we can do this collaboratively because this table supports collaborative editing. The way that works is if I start typing here, um, it automatically updates uh, for everyone else. However, if uh, and if someone else goes in here, then we can collaboratively edit. However, if someone else is writing somewhere else, um, it does. My my spreadsheet is not updating until I'm done. 
and this is just for performance um, reasons and maybe it also helps not distract me while I'm typing something. So here we could have um, the students then filling out different definitions. Again, this could be done uh, in groups, individually, or in a whole class. However, right now we still don't have a way of merging multiple tables. So what I would like eventually is um, to have, for example, each person doing this individually and then being able to say, you know, Alia wrote this and Peter wrote this to be able to quickly compare their definitions. And that will probably come, but it's not there right now. Okay, so the next thing was adding the count. And so here we see, this is brainstorm, this is not a table. And here Chinatown has three votes because we asked for that. So three people chose Chinatown, it's already on top. Chinese something is one, uh, all of them have one word, right? What we're doing now is we're saying, okay, don't worry about the votes, but I want the students to vote. Uh, but I'm gonna have them vote in groups for some reason. So right now, just because of the data, I can see that these two are synchronized. So they get two votes to this, they vote this down, vote this down, vote this down up one. And now, uh, let's say, this is another person, she's in her own group right now, she votes this. Now what's gonna happen is it, it's going to take the one here and the two here and add them together and Chinatown will then have three votes. As you see, so Chinatown, three votes, experience one, minus one, minus one. Um, yeah, so uh, that was it. Of course, you, you can now connect um, the learning items from the word selection to other tools like the gallery or the CK board. Um, you can bring in other kinds of learning items into the spreadsheet like tweets, like um, texts that students have written. And, um, and there's a few different ways that we could configure this. Um, but uh, that's how far we've gotten so far. It's still a little bit fiddly to set up and I'm hoping to improve that. But um, hopefully this is uh, useful to someone.